So I'm taking a look at the Lenovo Flex uh, 10 here. Now this is a $320 very basic touchscreen netbook style device. You'll see the review on notebookcheck.net uh, that I'm writing right now. should be up in a couple of days after this video. The one thing I wanted to do uh, in addition to the review is just show XBMC running on it. Now the important thing here is here that um, this is a fanless device. On the left here I've got the Intel Nook. You might have seen my posts on umcportal.com about that. It works really well. It's also got uh, the Baytrail M processor inside. Um, just a very slightly higher power version. But this has got a fan in. This has got no fan in. So this is a completely silent unit. And um, One thing to note is actually there's a hard drive inside. Uh, which I think is actually switched off by now. It's been on a few minutes. Uh, just to run you around, run you over what's happening here, you can through the BIOS switch a legacy boot on. So I'm booting from an open elect distribution, which has uh, it's basically a cut down XBMC, and you can see up here that we're running off a 1080p screen over an HDMI link, and then on the other side here I've got uh, a giggy gigabit Ethernet connection because the actual Wi-Fi on this isn't brilliant, and we're down here in the cellar studio and the reception down here is, is, is far from good so I've just uh, connected gigabit ethernet there so I've got uh, stuff going over from from the NAS here let's just show you a couple of samples now this one is uh, a 1080p coming straight off the NAS here let's put the um, details up on the screen uh, we probably want to let this run through but let me just fast forward there we go Oops, there we go. Um, so, 4.6 megabits per second with 160 kilobits a second audio. CPU here, 20, 14, 20, 10, 26, 10, 20, 10. Very low. Average of about 15 to 25% CPU. So, it's handling that 1080p really, really nicely. Uh, what, what, what I want to show you now is high 10 p file. Now high 10 p X264 uh, encoded 10-bit file. This is um, actually I should keep the audio down on this because otherwise it's going to block the um, on YouTube will match the audio and I'll get uh, I'll get um, a black mark. But let me just switch this on. Now this one runs up to up to 25 megabits per second. It's currently 11, 17. And you know what? This is actually happening in CPU. So inside this device, we've got some hardware video decoders, um, but 10-bit X264, uh, X264 is not um, is not supported in hardware. So it's doing it by uh, software encoder, software decoder, and that CPU there indicates we're running between one and 25 megabits per second. Now that's going up to five. I want to wait till that gets up. A little bit higher figure, and you'll see the CPU go right up to the top, showing you the limits. So there we go, eight mega, fifteen megabits per second, twelve, and the CPU. So there's a couple of limits there. If you're going to do high, high ten p stuff, I wouldn't recommend this device. But if we're talking about um, anything from, and I think this is a DivX file, yeah, maybe four megabits per second, that's working fine. Let's show you. Um, an MK, MK, MKV file working perfectly over the network here and if we fast forward you can see there's subtitles working this is an H.264 with probably a DTS, uh, no an AC3 uh, it's being, yeah, that's uh, AC3 is not being passed through to the monitor it's actually uh, being um, down sampled into a two channel audio I believe so um, yeah there's noise in the background here, but it's actually my NAS that's underneath the desk, and you, you really can't. I'm just going to go really close to the device here. I'm not sure you can really hear, and you might be able to hear the disc. Really, it's silent, and it's pretty cool. So it's worth thinking about this, right? So here's um, let's get that in focus. This is $120 without memory, without disc, without operating system. So. You're looking at $160 minimum for this just to get open and elect working. Once you put the 
well, let's say $140. If you could, maybe if you're really lucky, you've got some memory lying around, you can get it for, go for $120. But you've got a system here, 300 and it's a uh, recommended retail price, $320. It's fanless. It's got pretty much the same video capability as this, although the CPU is runs up to 2 gigahertz rather than 2.4 2.2 gigahertz on this one it looks like the gpu on this the decoding capability video in hardware is about the same um so you're getting a fanless uh bay trail m platform um with windows 8 where it comes with microsoft office as well you get free keyboard you obviously get touchscreen you get a portable system you get battery in it as well so that uh, you can actually and we're running out of battery right now so this is 320 so you think you add windows 8 to this you add a hard disk you add two gigs of ram uh, and if you're on office as well um, you're up to beyond the 320 dollars that this is um, so it's kind of interesting now even some of the tablets that you can find at around 250 dollars are offering this sort of capability built in so think about that there's open elect working on the lenovo flex 10 um, oh yeah, one more thing to show you. Look what I've got here. I've got a Bluetooth keyboard here, and you can see it's working. So Bluetooth works as well. Obviously, USB Ethernet connections work as well. The Wi-Fi works inside. I'm not using it here because it's a little bit uh, slow down here. Um, what was the other thing I wanted to tell you? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. If you had, if you didn't have this, um, you didn't have this in here. You could actually plug in a nice. SSD based um, USB 3 um, drive so that you've got no real sort of limits on how fast you can transfer files into the system um, if you were to take the Gigi away or put a pub in there you'd be able to put your USB 3 because there's USB 3 port here so that's it Lenovo Mix 10 sorry not the Mix 10 this is the Flex 10 check out notebookcheck.net where I'm doing the full review for this thanks to the guys for just letting me do some stuff on the side um, with the the review device just having a think about how it works as a media center you've got pretty much the same capability here as here but in a laptop form factor something with windows 8 that you can take away and use elsewhere as well fanless my name's chippy um umcportal.com i'm writing the review for notebookcheck.net so check me out there, and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.